And now it's time for our prayers. Keeping our hearts and our minds open, let's pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, for peace across our world. Peace where families are in conflict. Peace where communities are in conflict. And peace for all those affected by war and terrorism. Where there is disagreement in our world, Lord, allow people to seek reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We ask you, Lord, for guidance and understanding from the Church, its ministers and from all religions, so that they may set an example to all of us, showing compassion, showing charity, and showing love. We ask you, Lord, to also help all of us show patience and kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give wisdom to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us. They may promote equality, promote tolerance, and promote justice. We ask you, Lord, to help all people realize that we have more in common than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for help for all those who are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, storms, earthquakes, floods, droughts, or fires. In particular, we think of our brothers and sisters on St. Vincent who are suffering from the effects of their volcano. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering. We also pray today for all those who have no one else to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those lost loved ones who have an anniversary or birthday at this time. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep in our own hearts. Lord, hear our prayer. Hasten, O Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant that we, your servants, who now live by faith, may with joy behold your Son at his coming in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. 